I've been neglecting this. Um, I've been neglecting this because currently my screen is not helping me out. Where it says new game. Uh, I don't see the first half of the M, so it looks like it says new gain. And then I got a little uh, continental going on here with the L. So I'm going to try my best to get back in the swing of things. Every time I try to record, something, something wrong happens. So give me a little bit. I'm going to try and make sure that I get all the voices right and everything, but just don't expect a whole lot from me. Thanks. Maya! Hey, Nick, it's you! I'm glad Mr. Edgeworth made it through the day, okay? It's a relief. Hey, why'd you do that anyway? Uh, I don't know. I, I just know I had to do something. I know I'm not the lawyer my sister was. I'm sorry. Well, you did save the trial. Just behave from now on, okay? Oh, okay. Have you been questioned yet? No, not yet. Detective Gumshoe was here just now. He said seeing as this is your first defense, we'll let you go after questioning. <sighs> oh, and he wanted me to get bail money ready. You can pay for me, okay? How much? I don't know. I guess they'll send you a bill or something. Why do I picture giant bales of money every time I hear the word bail? Any luck with Mia? None. I can't get through to her at all. I tried. I really did. I don't know what to do. I think I probably shouldn't have stopped my training. Hmm. She sounds like she really did do her best. I should check and see if there are any waterfalls in the local area. I wonder if I'll ever see my sister again. We'll figure something out. Sure is quiet here with nobody around. Right. I have to get Maya out of that detention cell soon. Let's check in on that bill. Detective Gumshoe's not here. Oh, Gumshoe's at the scene again today. Huh? Oh, really? Yeah, he's a live wire, that one. Got into a fight with the chief for not following protocol. Not following protocol? I bet he wouldn't help them build the case against Edgeworth. There are fewer than there were yesterday, but the cops are still around in the park. I wonder if Detective Gumshoe is here today. I haven't seen Larry around today at all. Probably off paying through the nose on a date with that lovely Keonse. Man, I haven't seen anyone today. Except for Maya in jail, but, you know. Let's just not count that one, eh? Looks like the boat rental shop is closed today, too. Today's theme is loneliness. Hey, Detective Gumshoe. Hey, pal. Trial today at, uh... Yeah? What about the trial? Well, I was gonna say good show, but it wasn't really all that. Though you did save Edgeworth, I guess. I just wasn't sure how to thank you, you know? Uh... Thanks. D Detective Gumshoe? Any idea what strategy Von Karma's planning for tomorrow? Sounds like he's bringing in another witness. Another witness? Oh, right, he said something about that in the trial today. There for two witnesses. I was wondering who that other witness was. Uh... 
Who was it? S sorry, pal. As much as I'd like to, I'm not at liberty to divulge that information. Right. Alright, I wanted to ask you something about Edgeworth. What's up? Is he afraid of earthquakes? I never heard anything about that before. Mr. Edgeworth doesn't talk about himself too much, see? But there's one thing that's clear as day. Him hating crime the way he does, and him becoming a lawyer, and him being scared of earthquakes. It all started with that incident. The TL6 incident. Yep, that's the one. Fifteen years ago, when he saw his father shot before his very eyes. He still feels the pain now, you can see it in his eyes. I wanted to talk to you about Maya Fey. Huh? She's not out on bail yet? That's strange. I told him to let her go as soon as they had their report written up. Man, I don't know what would have happened in that courtroom today if it weren't for her. Seeing her get dragged out by the bailiff? I'll be honest with you, pal. I shed a tear or two. Edgeworth, he was so moved I saw his lip trembling. Really? Cold as ice Edgeworth. He was really grateful for what she did, you know. I'm gonna head back to the station. I'll get the report on Maya and get her out of there as soon as I can. Thank you. Truly. Oh, wait. Um, I was wondering, how much is bail gonna be? Ah, don't worry about that. Mr. Edgeworth is posting the whole amount. What? Edgeworth? Didn't I tell you? He's grateful to her for what she did. Alright, pal. Well, don't forget to go pick her up today, okay? Huh. Maybe I can get Edgeworth to pay this month's rent, too. Hey, Nick! You finally came! They just finished the paperwork. I'm free to go. Free at last, eh? Those interrogators were really mean. They were like, okay, what did you do this time? Like I was some kind of criminal. Can you believe it? Well, they let you on the end, didn't they? Mm. Oh, that reminds me. Thanks for bail. Thank Edgeworth. Huh? He posted bail for you. Said he was grateful for what you did. Mr. Edgeworth did that? I have to make it up to him. We've got to win this case, Nick. Well, I mean, I was kind of planning all that anyways, you know? Ah, fresh air. Gotta say, freedom feels great. Behave yourself in the courtroom tomorrow, okay? <laughs> Misbehaving's much more fun. It's not gonna be so much fun when Edgeworth refuses to pay your bail again. Mm. Right. I'll behave. Oh dear. So, uh, please give me a hint. I don't know. I've been in detention this whole time. I'll let you decide what we should do. Deal? Well, any thoughts you want to share? Well, I was in detention all day. I think I'd like more time to think, player. Oh my, she's probably thought about Mia the whole time she was in there. I think the game's trying to give me a hint to stop gaffing about. Not there. I think it's a Gord Lake. It's a Gord Lake. There aren't many cops around today, are there? They're probably back at the precinct working up the case against Edgeworth. Hmm. Hey, y'all! Hey, it's Lada! Y'all really did it today. What did we do now? No, I'm not complaining. See, I did a little thinking. A little self-reflection, you might say. I realized that being a witness is a mighty big responsibility, but I just went up there and started babbling any old thing that came to my mind. Lada. So you see, I wanted to make it up to y'all. Make it up? Yeah, you do a lot of making up on your own. What did you think of the trial? To be honest, I was doing it half just to say I'd been a witness, even though I didn't really see anything. I kind of convinced myself I had, though. I'm sorry, I know I caused y'all a lot of trouble. Well, memory's a tricky, vague little thing. Yeah, I sure know that now. I'll be fine the next time I witness a murder. Right. You mean, the first time you witness a murder. What about Gordy? Right! 
Well, the way I figure, the trial's only stoking the flames of Gordy's fever. I'll get my exclusive photos and rocket to stardom. All right, Lotta, you go, girl. I wish I could be an investigative photographer, too. Finish your spirit medium training first. Lotta, what do you mean by making it up to us? Well, you see, actually, I got a bit of information for you. What? That Von Karma didn't want me to say nothing about it. What information? Now we're getting to the heart of it. See, I reckon we might be able to do ourselves a little exchange. Exchange? Uh, I thought this was to make it up to us. Right. I propose a little exchange to make it up to you. <sighs> what? Information don't come cheap, my friend. Uh, hey, I see you thinking my how unsophisticated these southern folks are. It's written all over your face. Let me tell you, most southerners are way more sophisticated than you. I'm just the exception, okay? Well, what'll it be? Were you gonna deal or not? What do we do, Nick? Uh... Alright, Howie. Deal. We don't have any other leads, so I don't think we have a choice here. Okay, how much? Huh? You completely off your rocker? I may not be sophisticated, but I'm not trying to rob the poor. Huh? The only fair exchange for information is information. Listen good. What I need from you is information on Gordy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Gordy? But Gordy doesn't... I mean, Gordy might not exist. Bring me proof that shows he don't. Uh, I'll be keeping watch from the car, okay? You see something, y'all come to me first, got it? Okay. Right, see y'all later. Okay, Nick, let's get hunting. Hunting? I don't seriously mean... Gordy? I sure do. What about Edgeworth? We're searching for Gordy for him, Nick. Don't you get it? Okay, and how exactly do we search for a make-believe monster? Maybe we can find a monster myth specialist? What's that? This is the samurai, Nick. Yo, Maya! Larry, what the hell is this? Oh, it was my girl Keontae's idea. She was all, if you like, put this here, it would be like, really cool. Dude, she gave it to me along with the banner. Wow, that's really impressive she could find those for you. Well, she knows a lot of people. That show's finished now, so she got them for free. Right. Larry, 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 Larry. Yo, Nick, what happened with Edgeworth? Well, we made it through the first day in court, all right. I don't know how good our prospects are from here on, though. Huh. Hey, Larry, did you know Edgeworth's secret weakness? He's terrified of earthquakes. He acts like a little boy. Huh? That's weird. I don't think he was ever like that in school. No? Really? Well, we were only in the same class for a year. We transferred schools pretty quickly. Transferred? Right. When the DL6 incident happened. Doesn't look like Larry knows about it, though. Hey, Larry. What's that big thing up there before? Huh? Oh, the big guy. I've had that for about a month, yeah. It's a big hit with the kids. Why wasn't it there yesterday? Huh? Huh? Oh, right. Uh, the, the compressor was busted. Compressor? Yeah, it's that little unit by my hot dog stand. That's what I used to put air in the Steel Samurai. Broke a little while ago, so I sent it in for repairs. Oh. And here I thought you'd inflated it by yourself. Doesn't that steel samurai look a little out of place? I mean, it's so huge. This is good advertising. Something about this steel samurai just doesn't work for me. Huh? Oh, really? Looks pretty well made to me. <laughs> Still a novice, aren't you, Nick? Really? True connoisseurs like Cody and me don't fall for this kind of stuff. These Steel Samurai fans are obviously in a league of their own. I can't get over the Samurai Dogs. The original Samurai Dogs, no less. 
Hey man, whoever calls their product the original first wins. Why don't you add world famous to the sign? Hey, good idea! What have I done? I'm, I'm like positive. What's this machine? That? That's a compressor. I used to fill up that balloon there with air. Huh, neat. Chris got it repaired yesterday. Man, what a drag that was. Those flags look sadly out of place here. Flapping listlessly back and forth in the cold wind under a cold sky. I don't know, I think it gives the place a kind of festival atmosphere. Reminds me of the War of the Eyeglasses. The War of the what? Huh? What, you mean you don't know the War of the Eyeglasses? What the hell is that? Our local fair used to do it every summer. Huh, I guess we're the only ones. I ask again. What the hell is that? y'all. Well, y'all find anything about Gordy? Uh, no, nothing. Well, keep moving. Gets cold out here at nighttime. It is a little chilly. I, I think I have to sneeze. Whoa, no you don't. No sneezing. Achoo! I told y'all no sneezing. See, I set the camera to respond to things a little softer than a bang. Trigger one of those Von Karma finger snaps now. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, well, sorry's nice, but what about my film? Yeah, it could be the lady. <laughs> I learned something in today's trial, that's for sure. Testifying is serious business. That's why I decided not to talk about that case anymore. Huh? Well, didn't you say you had information about the case? Tell us that, at least. Like I said, I'll trade it for the dirt on Gordy. What are you gonna do if Gordy doesn't exist? Now I'll quit being an investigative photographer. What? After all, I only have one photo to my name so far. Was it a good one? You bet, a UFO. A UFO? Anyway, if I can't get a career making photos this time around, and that's it. I'll quit and go back to school. Huh? So you really are a university student? Yeah, well, I'm taking a break for a bit. Right. It's always so quiet here. I wonder if the boat shop is closed for good. Well, with the murder on the lake and all... They're probably just taking a vacation until it blows over. I get it. Anything, please? I'm lost. Doesn't look like anyone is around. They're probably closed because of the murder. Who does that? Hey there, pal. What's up? You look out of sorts. Wait, you didn't go and do something that's gonna hurt Mr. Edgeworth's case again. What do you mean, again? Ah, whatever. Have a seat, pal. I'm here for you if you do need anything. Uh, besides money, that is. Um, I always need money, but that's okay. How's the investigation proceeding? It's not really. We have another meeting coming up. We're supposed to talk about Mr. Edgeworth's motive. His motive? See, Mr. Edgeworth's father died of the DL6 incident. The guy who got the lone suspect declared innocent was the victim in this case. Robert Hammond. They're saying that's why Mr. Edgeworth shot him. And Edgeworth never talks about his past. I bet they'll drag that out and hit him with it in court tomorrow, too. Poor Edgeworth. I gotta admit, it doesn't look good, pal. Say, Detective Gumshoe, do you know Gordy? Monster down at Gord Lake? Not personally, no. Well, we're looking for him. Huh? Are you out of your minds? Ah. Uh. You got time to go wild monster hunting? How about doing a little questioning for me, then? Oh. Detective Gumshoe's scaring me, Nick. 
and I told Detective Gumshoe about the deal with Lotta. Nick, try telling him sooner next time! Ah, uh, sorry. I see, pal. Sorry for shouting at you. Okay. I, Detective Gumshoe, will aid your search for Gordy. Huh? I'll loan you one of our newest secret weapons for finding evidence. Really? You can take whichever one you like. Okay, give us the goods. Hold on now, everything in due time. First, let me show them to you. These are our best and brightest. Introducing secret weapon number one, Missile. M missile? He's a canine police dog still in training. Missile! Missile! Here, yeah, boy! Here he is. Hey, he's cute! Look, Nick, cute dog! Cute dog. And this will help us how? Next, secret weapon number two, a fishing pole. Here, this is my own personal pole. Detective Gumshoe, we're looking for a monster? Yeah! How are we supposed to catch a whole sea monster with a fishing pole? Never know till you try, pal. Uh. No, please, I'm already overwhelmed by our choices. Secret weapon number three, a metal detector. Here. Detective Gumshoe, we're looking for something alive. Right. How are we supposed to find it with a metal detector? Hey, you never know. It might have been eating soda cans. Well, which will it be? Um... I can't make up my mind, Nick. They all seem so perfect. Can't make up my mind, either. For the totally opposite reason. Well, I suppose it can't hurt to borrow one of them. Metal detector seems like the most practical one to begin with. Can we borrow that metal detector? Sure thing, pal. Not sure what we're going to find with this. Remember, you're hunting for a monster. Anything is possible. Anything. Off to the beach, I guess. 